Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and this is day three of our Not Back To School Week 2021, woo! Um, last year was my first year doing it and um, it was a real success. Everyone seemed to really like me talking to you every day for a week so I'm doing it again this year and hopefully I'll keep on doing it. But today we are going to be talking about Albert, little Albert who is four he would have started school this week if he had been going so this is a like a really big deal I feel um you know talking about what we're doing with him because he is he's you know all of his peers have gone to school and uh, he's not he's here with me and his big brother and his big sister and there's lots of children around the country who are also like him who are deciding whose parents have decided actually you know what you're not gonna go we're gonna keep you at home and we're gonna have lots of fun and adventures together. So, um, I have not got his English to show you, which is very, very annoying. Um, I do have one um, book that we were going to use with him, but the more I looked at it, the more I didn't like it. <laughs> so this is the book, The Bare Necessities book, which is um, the same series, same by the same company as Charles's Apples and Pears. Um, I found it really boring. When I tried to sit down and start having a look at it with him uh, in um, at the begin like kind of a few months ago, I was just like yawn and I just really didn't want to. So unfortunately I have two completely unused Dancing Bears book there. Um, if you are interested in them and you are thinking of buying them yourself, um, let me know because you can buy those off me because I don't want them in my shelves anymore. <laughs> So um, we are going to be using Jolly Phonics with Albert. I kind of thought, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, and we, I've ordered the teacher book and I have ordered the, the new teacher book because it's a new edition and I've ordered the first pupil book for him. Um, I think it would be much better suited to him because there's lots of singing, there's stories and um, I think that learning a song to go with the letter sound is actually better for him to stick in his head. He likes a song and I think it will help with his, um, with his speech as well, singing, you know, um, with the g sound and the k sound. I think singing a song with those sounds in will be really useful to him. So the other things we're doing with him, uh, we've got some maths. And these are by Schofield and Sims. Um, if you go onto their website, and when you are looking at the prices for the books, if you say you are a pet, you are a school or a tutor, which is fine, because they don't mind you doing that when you're a home educating parent. If you say you're a tutor, they will give you money off all of the books on the website, yay! Which is always, always good. So these are meant for schools, but I adapt them so they work for us. So it, you need to, you don't need to buy, you can get away with not having it, but I've chosen to have the mathematics teacher guide. And it gives you the order in which to do the workbooks, and each bit in, a work, in the workbook says term one, term two, and term three. So it's really all planned out for you. You don't have to do anything. And you then, it goes all of the kind of teacher jargon at the beginning, which I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. No offense to any teachers who might be watching, but blah, 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 blah. Then it gives you, um, you've got lots of exercises here, lots of things to talk about. And it talks about circle time and children, plural, but you know, you don't have to do that. And then it gives you a activity to do inside the teacher's book for you to photocopy and give to the child. And it does that for all of them all the way through. It's very, very good, very concise. But then the workbooks accompany that. And uh, you've got shape and pattern, addition and subtraction, shape and measure, and counting. So let's look at counting because that's the first one we're going to be uh, looking at. So it starts with counting to three, counting to five. There's basically two pages worth of stuff per kind of heading and um, it's very light, it's very basic and it really I think is going to gently encourage him into doing maths lessons with me. Um, I'll leave links to those in the description box. Uh, I'm really liking them, the look of them so far and I'm looking forward to sitting down and doing them with him. And then the next, um, the science curriculum I showed you yesterday for Charles and Bessie, I wanted something similar for Albert. That was age appropriate. And um, because I think he would enjoy that, but he's not gonna be able to do really any of the writing or things like that. So I was like, how can we introduce him to the idea of doing science without um, giving him too much too soon? And 
Sims. Go for them Sims also do this, understanding the world. So this is early years foundation stage aligned, which is year R and preschool. So it's, this is the four to five books. And again, the same as the maths, it has an activity and then an instructions with other activities you can do to make it multi-sensory and all across, um, you know, do all sorts of things, hands-on activities, that sort of thing. And the same again, if you say you're a tutor, you can get money off, and especially if you buy them as a set, which is what I did. So the topics here, we've got the world, technology, and people. So we'll just have a flick through these and you can have a look. So this one says me and all about me. And you've got, just flick a bit further, my clothes. They also do, oh dear, the lighting is awful. Sorry, let me move the... There we go, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, we've got clothes, and then it talks about healthy food, being kind, my beliefs, my community. There's lots of bits in there. And then you've got technology. Everyday technology. It's not bright and colourful, but it does the job. And they're going to make it bright and colourful with what they're up to, aren't they? So it's going to be okay. So that's all sorts of things in there and then you've got plants trees how humans grow animal babies seasons weather patterns objects all that sort of thing in the world um i think that they'll just be really nice to start off with him and what is useful about those books is because they are so light and so easy um if i am having to do something with Bessie I can give the books to Charles and Charles really enjoys being able to teach Albert um he will sit with him and he'll do his flashcards with him and while I don't really believe in siblings raising their siblings I do really enjoy giving Charles that responsibility and passing on his knowledge to his younger siblings um he will read with Bessie and he does enjoy um doing doing a little bit of the the workbooks with Albert to help him and I know that if Bessie was reading she would do it as well she will sit down and do maths with him and she'll be like look this which number's this and she'll write her numbers and she'll write numbers 1 to 10 uh, or 1 to 20 and she'll get Albert to tell her what numbers they are and if he gets them wrong she very gently corrects him and says that's not a two that's three or whatever and um, I do really encourage that because I think it's giving them some good skills for the future and it helps them comp you know that really um, helps them revise the knowledge that they have in their heads as well by teaching it to somebody else which is really useful so uh, the Jolly Phonics book is still I'm still waiting for it to arrive um, but I will make sure when I do a video of showing you him using it um, that uh, I will um, make sure uh, you can see it. If not, I may, if it arrives before I edit this video, I may pop it in at the end of this video and um, you can see. Hello, it's Editing Emma here and as promised I got have got the Jolly Phonics books now to show you. Uh, so this is what we're going to be teaching Albert to read with, the Jolly Phonics programme. Um, and there's a lesson, it's a daily lesson, you obviously don't have to do seven days a week, we will do five days a week. Um, and it's got all of the letters there look and these are what the children's pages look like nice and brightly colourful and you just do a page a day and I have also got the teacher's book and these are all available you can all see they're all available on Amazon and you can see them on the um, on the wish list that's in the description box um, of yesterday's video and today's it's got a story um, there's songs there's and instructions on how to teach it. It's all in here if you feel like you need a little bit of extra support. This is a good start, okay? There's also book two, book three, and then it goes on to um, grammar and things as well going on forward. Um, so these are suitable for years four plus, it says. Um, the, jo the Jolly Phonic pupil books one, two, and three are meant for reception, year age children, or children who are just starting to learn to read. It will teach them um, to read. It also teaches high frequent, begins to teach high frequency words as well. Uh, we will probably go all the way through Jolly Phonics with um, for Albert, just to um, keep some continuity. So he'll use it next year as well. So this is the end of day three of Not Back to School Week. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like hearing about home education or homeschooling. And I will see you tomorrow for day four when we talk all about unit studies and what we will be getting up to this year as a family. 
See you tomorrow. Bye.